you hadn't showed up, things might have gone very different. So we've got 120 beds and an additional 25 now in the East Wing. All in use? Yes, ma'am. With a wait list. And that's just the start of our problems. We've got staff shortages as well. We can barely take care of the main building. I know. It's the same story all over. Yeah. Sarah's got their hands full. But we're barely functioning over here, and I'm afraid of the infection spreading to the other patients. Is there anything you can do to, I don't know, speed things up a bit? I'm sorry, sir. We're doing what we can. Anton was a good man. I've known him since he joined the team six years ago. He was always a hard worker, a loving husband, and a proud father. His daughters looked up to him and saw what many of us did. A hero. Even when facing his personal losses, Anton knew he could stay strong and be part of something bigger. He knew he had a responsibility to step forward and do what he could. And for that, we thank him. And remember him as an example we should all follow. Amen. Readings indicate an echo nearby. I'm gonna ask you this one last time. What are they in Just for? Just looting for God's sakes. Nothing too serious. Hey! Hey, what are you- What the- ah! Get down, get down, get down! Oh shit! You catching this? Afraid so. Is this the big one you think? Might be. Good lord. I hoped we'd never see the day. How are you holding out for supply? Three months worth. Check the water filter last week. Yeah, we should be okay too. You can never be too careful.
Hey, man. Think you could come here real quick? I got shit to do. What do you need? Hey, so this guy was in my bedroom going through my stuff, right? Hit him in the back of the head. Now I got him tied up in my bathtub. Shit, for real? I don't know what to do, man. He see my face. He knows where I live. All right, I'll come over. right now but please leave a message hi honey it's your mom <laughs> i just wanted to let you know we're in a cab on our way into the city now recon said the lb has set up a series You gotta give it to Pharaoh. When he says he wants something done, he gets it done. What I like is that he's out here doing it with us. I had the shop boss once. He never left the freaking office. Pharaoh, he's out on the streets. Yeah, and he gets his hands dirty. Never ask a guy to do what he won't do himself. Ain't that the truth? He got himself a little bit of a temper though, you gotta watch that. He gets pissed real easy if you question the mission. Yeah, I guess you could say he's kind of a... Uh... Hothead. <laughs> you get it? See what I did there? Ah, uh, screw you. I thought it was funny. Need to get this apartment block. Active echo beacon detected. They start looking an awful lot alike. Hard to tell them apart, what do you think? Disturbing news out of the Disease Control Department, which released a new report today on the so-called Green Poison. With me in the studio, I have Dr. Eliza Franklin of the DCD. Doctor, what exactly does this mean? Well, uh, the current infection rate is a lot more aggressive than we expected, and the incubation time a lot shorter. So, all we've got is guesses. How many people getting sick are we talking here? Given current trends, we could be seeing a threefold increase by the end of the week. That much. The good thing is that we have plenty of samples and a global team collaborating on a potential vaccine. But we're racing the clock. We 
We've got too many people as it is. Enough! This is God's house, not yours. Please, everyone, come in. If God wills it, we'll find a way. We're all of this together. What do you have for me? Car crash on Madison. Huge pile up. Got some nice close-ups of the bodies, too. That's it? Well, yeah, it's good stuff. Blood and guts all over the pavement. <sighs> You're wasting your time. We got hospitals, riots, sick kids. Get me some of that and you'll make the news. All right, I'll see what I can do. After the last couple of days, I didn't expect anything good to happen, but it did. Miko was there. She recognized me, and she let me in. They live on the third floor and still have electricity. I'm writing now by the light of an actual electrical bulb. <laughs> Amazing how quickly that starts to seem unusual. Miko's partner, Drew, is a nurse. He's got some incredible stories about the first days of the bug. Neither of them can believe he's still alive. Every so often, while he's telling his stories, Miko will just reach out and touch him, like she wanted to make sure he was really there. I wish I could reach out and touch Bill. they can't watch TV either. Says it's only bad news on there. She's right. But don't you have some DVDs you could look at? I packed some for you. No, I've already watched them. All right, buddy. Well, put one on again, and I'll be back by the time it ends, okay?
right, guys. New set of assignments for you today. Martinez. Yes, sir. Take you guys over to the Hudson Yards and bring one of the tankers. Kaczynski found a shanty down there that might require some crowd control. Make sure they don't run. Uh, Rogan. Yeah? There's a residential building uptown for you in Hell's Kitchen. It's pretty big, so make sure to cover the exit so no one gets out. There's a truck ready for you as well, but don't go crazy. I don't want to hear you burn the whole block down or nothing, okay? You got it. The rest of you, stick to your patrol routes. You never know what might be creeping back, even if you cleared it out yesterday. Now, let's go to work. Yo, this is Chris. Leave a message. Hey, asshole, where the hell are you? You were supposed to pick me up at the airport three hours ago. Thanks for that. I had to fight my way through a freaking mob to get on some shitty bus. What's up with that? You don't do cabs anymore? Anyway, all right, I should be at your place in half an hour. You better be awake by then. All right, later. <laughs> 